It's all about basics. I mean, if Freddie put a whole day on bowel prep, he wouldn't come, would he? No, <laughs> nobody would come. Nobody would come tonight, is it? But equally important is actually how you do colonoscopy. Yes. And that is critical because you shouldn't even be thinking about simple polyphax, let alone EMR or ESD, unless you can do your colonoscopy yes. because you're around the trouble. Europe heads the world, actually, if you take Europe collectively in colorectal cancer. So that's what it's all about. It's about trying to improve results in cancer. We've got the only truly national screening program running at the moment, and it's proving to say that we can reduce mortality from cancer. So it works. But it'll only work if we've got good quality colonoscopy. The extension of the US National Polyp Study has actually proven the original hypothesis that you could reduce the incidence of cancer by doing polypectomy by 50%. And that's now being proven as follow-up study from that US national study. We know it happens. But why aren't, why aren't we achieving it? Because we're not achieving it. And that's probably because we're missing polyps, which comes back to bowel prep. It's a bit like driving down here last night. The weather was shit, so it was a bad bowel prep last night, coming down the A3. <laughs> but the driving was also crap, because there were people all over the bloody place. And it's actually a combination of the weather and the driver that makes bad colonoscopy. Yes. <laughs> so it's pretty elegantly shown, bad bowel prep is bad. Next biggest yeah. offender is poor technique. And failure to employ any kind of mucosal enhancing technique. The number of times we do courses, instead of you use dye spray, and they look at you like, uh, what? No, I don't dye my hair, you know, I don't do that. <laughs> it's kind of, people don't do it regularly. It should be there all the time. The difficulty in this country of getting indigo farming, it was like you're asking for gold dust. We did some studies on, on uh, dye sprays, different kinds of dyes, different blues, greens, yellows, reds. It costs about five pounds for a kilo. It's cheap. And if everybody used it, it would get cheaper. It's a food diet. It's used in food all the time. So we know from the Polish uh, screening, national screening program that actually people who miss polyps miss cancers as well. And these are the incident cancers in the Polish uh, screening study, and it correlates well with the colonoscopies and no protection rate. And most of those polyps missed were on the right side, which could be a combination of bowel prep, but I suspect also driving. The study that started the change in my life, and that's not the menopause, it's basically, was, was I had been trying for years to try and look at improving quality in, in endoscopy. DSG, big thumbs down, no, we don't want accreditation.